Hey everybody, welcome back to another Tuesday grilling video. And this week, what we're gonna do is something that's really common and you see it in all your local grocery stores. It's thin cut pork chops. Why thin cut pork chops? Because if you go online and you look for recipes on pork chops, everybody's cooking these big inch or inch and a half thick um, porterhouse chops and they look delicious and they're juicy and you know, it's what you'd get if you went to a high end steakhouse. But the reality is when you and I go to our average grocery store, what we hit is a slab of pork chops and they're about a half inch thick. They can be done deliciously and easily right on either a gas grill or a pellet smoker. We're gonna do it on our pit boss. Let's go ahead and prep them. We'll show you how it's done. All right, so we've got our pork chops laid out on a tray and I went ahead and seasoned one side of these and flipped them over. I'm not gonna sit here and show you me seasoning both sides of them. You've certainly seen that in plenty of other videos and I suspect everyone here knows how to shake. So we won't spend a ton of time on that. I'm using, uh, my wife got me a subscription to some different rubs. So on three of them we're doing um, a lot of Bull Barbecue's Diamond Dust Rib and on two of them we're doing something called Hog Waller. Uh, it's Suckle Buster, so it's really made for pork. So we'll just go ahead and sprinkle this stuff on here real quick. Now that the rub is on these, we're gonna let them sit for about 10 minutes just until they get sort of moist looking. What we're looking for is for the seasoning to sink down into the meat. I've got the grill at 300 degrees and we're gonna go ahead and put them on there and we're gonna let them go for, I don't know, probably gonna flip them about every 20 minutes or so until we get a nice internal temperature of 145. So you'll notice the ones over on the right hand side are starting to get sort of moist looking and the ones on the left have just another minute or so of settling over there. We'll give it a couple more minutes before we pop them on the grill. All right, so we let these rest about 10 minutes. They're ready to go on. The grill is sitting at 295 degrees. So we're just gonna go ahead and place these right on here. Now I'm gonna try to avoid putting them directly over the heat source. I'm just gonna try and place them around it a little bit. And these are bone in, so they'll take a little bit longer than a bone out one. But as you can see, these are about a half inch thick. These are not, these are not like the ones you get in a nice porterhouse steakhouse kind of place or a chop house. You'll notice I'm rotating these around. It's because I'm trying to place the bone closer to the heat source because that's gonna be able to absorb more of the heat without impact. And obviously we're gonna rotate these as we go through them. Because I use two different seasonings, I'm also keeping track of where they are. So I've got my suckle buster over here and then the classic whole lot of bull pork rub over there. I'm gonna close this up, set a timer for 20 minutes. We'll come back and check them and flip them. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. We're just gonna open this up and give these guys a flip and a rotate, and they're already looking pretty good. Listen to that. We'll close this back up. So it's been about another 20 minutes, and yeah, Hair's wet, we've been in the pool. Kids are still in there. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and check these for temperature. They're looking really good. We're good there. Normally when you're grilling pork chops, you wanna take them off the heat at 145 degrees. Um, these got, these sit on a little long, they got a little hot. They're at about 168 to 170, depending on which one it is. So they're gonna be a little bit drier than we had initially hoped for. They're still gonna be delicious, but I probably could have taken these off five to eight minutes earlier. So if you're doing this at 300 degrees and you're using the thin pork chops, I'd say flip them every 10 minutes and probably after three flips, about 30 minutes, really start checking that temperature every couple. All right, so these are the ones with the, um, the all-purpose pork seasoning. These look really good. And these are the ones with the Suckle Buster seasoning on them. Just look at that. That juice running off of there. Those are good. All right, these are ready to go. We'll go ahead and cut a piece of this off. We'll give it a try and let you know how it is. All right, so let's give these a shot. This over here is the suckle buster one. I'm just gonna cut off a small piece. Try not to scratch this pan. Let's try the lot of bull first. Here goes nothing. All right, I'm not gonna lie. That very edge right over here was dry. I'm gonna cut another piece here where it's a little, a little thicker. Let's see if this is much better. 
Naja. That's really good. This would have been so much better if it was pulled off just five minutes sooner. But ain't nothing to complain about, that's for sure. And that way you can see that, but nice color. You squeeze it, there's a little bit of juice there, not enough to run out, but plenty to keep it moist. It's a really nice flavor too. Hope you guys give this a try, and we'll see you next Tuesday for another grilling video. Bye, happy and safe grilling, y'all. I think I'm gonna jump back in the pool.